Is Bernie Sanders an independent or a Democrat? Bernie Sanders is running in a Democratic primary. He will be a Democratic president. He has run all his congressional elections as an independent. Uh, that's so. He's both. He's both. Uh, but let me let you me can go back to what you, you, that, you yeah. said about Iowa. I mm. think Iowa is significant. Uh, Bernard has won Iowa. He had the highest number of votes, which in most Democratic countries counts as winning. Mm. Iowa has devised some system of delegates, which nobody understands. And no matter what happens, the delegate number is different from the numbers. In the delegate count, I think Bernard is a tenth of a percent behind. In the numbers uh, count of actual voters, he's three percent ahead. What it, what I think people need to understand, though, is that it's it's much more the the Iowa victory mm. is much more than just a narrow victory. It means Buttigieg is has done uh, exceptionally well. The young buck, indeed, coming up, he's, he was a but great tier four. But he's not a national candidate. Mm. He will get some votes, do moderately well in New Hampshire, not come near winning. And that's that really is the end of his candidacy. The crucial thing to my mind out of this is that Joe Biden doing so badly, heading to do very badly in New Hampshire. He got fourth been, in the polls, had, yeah. I think he's dropping out. Well, I mean, it, he's kind of yesterday's man, and in all fairness, with all of the uh, the Ukraine and the uh, the family issues mm. and uh, uh, that little paper trail, it doesn't really bode well <coughs> for the former vice president. Excuse me, um, but <coughs> excuse me. While you're here, what has Bernie Sanders got that the others don't? What? Uh, why do you think that uh, Bernie Sanders is the best choice for president, and not somebody younger than uh, Buttigieg? Um, yeah. uh, do you think these guys are? Is, is he the only one who won't be swallowed up and spat out by uh, Trump? Well, that's true, too. The, you, but the crucial bit is we, we are in a very serious uh, point in, in human history. I think most people are not t grasping it. The climate business is real. Mm. The, a jerk like Trump can say it's a hoax, but we, you know, nobody else really thinks that. We're, we'll have droughts, we'll have floods, we'll have millions of people in transit to get to someplace where they can live. There will be battles. It, it's not going to be fun. Bernard has a policy. Bernard's plan, the Green New Deal, is two things. The green means we move from fossil fuels to renewable energy. Okay, everybody knows we have to do that. Bernard's plan is to do it quicker than anybody else. But the second, the New Deal part of it, reflects back to this Roosevelt. Thing. The FDR. But it's yeah. not just the new deal. It is a new deal, meaning that the government plays a major role. Now, Ber what Bernard has said is that the coal miners and the people who work on and the drivers and all the people who are going to be impacted by the what's needed to transfer from fossil fuel, they are not the criminals. They are not the guilty people. They need to be protected. They need to live in a society in which they can have a good life. And he is a talking about many, many billions of dollars in order for that to happen. And that brings me indeed to the battlegrounds of the Rust Belts, of uh, places like Pennsylvania, which, um, you know, Trump says are beautiful, clean coal. Uh, but at the end of the day, they, at the end of the day, they are going to have to shut down, and especially in the Midwest, mm. the farmers, which have been directly infected, uh, affected, should I say, by the, uh, the trade war with China, because the soybean uh, market has just yeah. crashed through the floor. Yeah. So, OK, they, they gave Trump a role there. Uh, do you think that Bernie has a lot of work to do to grain people or get people onto his bandwagon? Well, of course he has, but it is helpful that the policies he's in favor of will do the trick. If the, I, 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 the people in those states, as well as the rest of America, need a minimum wage on which they could live, Bernard and versus Trump is between $15 an hour and $7 Indeed, an hour. Indeed, across the board on a federal level. And not only that, but he's got a plan for a job guarantee. Mm. That horror of unemployment which strikes people across the world is unnecessary. And the, but the other thing comes back, you said we, we mentioned the Rust Belt, we mentioned the Midwest, we mentioned Pennsylvania and places at coal mining areas. But how can Sanders' vision of a new America and a new deal or a new FDR new <laughs> deal, uh, how can that be sold to Trump's fanatical core support? Well, it probably can't, but they're a minority. And 
I, I, I actually looked something up the other day on real clear politics, which is rel- for numbers is, is re- reliable. They are, they've listed, I think, 68 polls in the last 10 months. And Bernard, between, specifically between Bernard and Trump, mm. Bernard won all but six. So there's a lot going you know, that he's already gone there. <laughs> 